Next question from the lady right here, and then with the glasses, yeah, right here, and then behind her. Yeah. Nee, nee, hier vorne die Dame. Genau, super. Nee, die da steht. Da gibt's ja noch eine die. She's standing already. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hi guys. Hi everyone. Uh, so happy to be here. I'm Joel. I'm with my team Valor Media, and question goes to Hugh and Ryan. So after Fox, is Disney going to be the new Tinder? So after so many swipes, are you guys going to be the perfect match? Or is this <laughs> the new Tinder? The new wow. Tinder, wow. correct. Wow, <laughs> interesting. Or is it going to be its complicated status? Oh, gosh. <laughs> uh, been a while since I've been single. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't even know which way you swipe. Um, <laughs> it's up and down? Yeah, yeah up and down. Right. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Mm. This is definitely a question for you. Wow. <laughs> wow. Thank you. 100%. Thank you so much. Uh, Tinder, Disney, I'm going to skip all that. In terms of Ryan and I, I listen, I don't, I don't want to give him everything now publicly, you know, because Ryan, I, I, got to, I want him to work for it. He needs to work for it a little more. Um, but I, listen, I can't wait for you to see the movie. I don't know if we're fully into the Tinder uh, phase yet of the Wolverine Deadpool saga, but maybe we're, we're edging there. Let's just yeah. go with that. Yeah. yeah, somewhere just north of MySpace. Right. Um, <laughs> Next you know. question. Uh, yeah, but, but, I, well, but, I, okay, but I will. But I will say though that 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 there isn't. You know, as we go into this this film, there is a there is an idea that we we wanted to keep the the patina of the other films, particularly Logan and the Wolverine, the uh, the previous uh, 30, 30 or forty Wolverine movies. Um, that he's made. 33, don't exaggerate. 33, <laughs> yes. He wanted to call the movie Wolverine 10. And, and, and I said, absolutely not. But the, 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 that sort of patina, which is a little bit, and you think you said it so beautifully earlier, which they're kind of outsiders, you know? Um, I like that a movie can be a movie that isn't a commercial for another movie. It doesn't always get to happen in this, particularly in this genre. So um, that was one thing that we were excited to, uh, to, be, to make. Next question from the lady. Hi, Alexandra Schaller from. Einmal kurz aufstehen, das schöner können wir alle sehen. Hello. Hi, Alexandra Schaller from uh, Rieks Filmkritiken. Um, I have a question for Wendy and Sean. Um, Deadpool now joins the MCU and therefore Disney. Um, how does the character fit into the family-friendly franchise, Disney and Marvel? <laughs> and yeah, it's the first film with a PG-13, like over PG-13 rating. So will we see more of that now? Well, I think the future is uncertain. Um, I can't speak to that, but yeah. I certainly you, hope so, though. Yeah, <laughs> I, I mean, you saw about 38 minutes of this movie, and I think what you saw makes very clear that while these characters might be joining Disney in the MCU, this is very much still mm. a Deadpool film. And frankly, we're grateful that Marvel and Disney have been extremely uh, empowering partners in letting us play with expectations and even play with the image of themselves. Uh, that's been real creative freedom. Yeah. Wir kommen einmal zu dem Herrn hier auf der rechten Seite mit der Brille. Genau, einmal aufstehen kurz, dann gibt es das Mikrofon. Oder einfach nur laut sprechen. Hallo. <lacht> ja. Hey guys, I'm Marcel from T-Online. Um, I have a question for Ryan. What was it like to give your suit to Justin Timberlake? Because I mean, come on, that wasn't you. <lacht> Wow. Yeah. But it was Justin? Hey, these hips don't lie, Marcel. <laughs> right? Can you prove Back that? Off. <laughs> um, uh, no, that was, a, that was a, uh, yeah, I wish I could dance like that. Oh, boy. You know, usually it's the other way around. See, like, I, the reason I do stunts in, in the movie is because the stunt guys are often way too macho. Uh, so I'm like, you know, they'll land and they'll look badass. And I'll be like, no, 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 no. You can't just, like, walk away like John Wayne. You need to sashay away. Um, do something nice, you know. Um, so often. Sometimes I find myself in the mix for that reason, but yeah, no. When it comes to uh, dancing, that's just not my. It was a guy named Nick Pauly who's amazing, and he he jumped in and 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 gave us the exact kind of in sync, you know, vibe we were looking for. Yeah. Hugh, let's talk about the physicality of Wolverine because in the past couple of 
you know, he is, you basically said to play Wolverine, you need to get into the best shape ever. And uh, we saw you training. What was it like this time? Because he actually didn't <laughs> want to, you didn't actually want to play Wolverine. And then there was this infamous drive, I think, after you talked to your agent uh, for a couple, sorry? Oh. No, yeah, yeah, before, yeah. Sorry, uh, yeah, no one's going to believe a word I said. I, I, I did mean what I said when I said I think I'm done playing Wolverine, and no, that wasn't true. Um, it was August 14th, 2022, and I was on my way out. I was driving, and I just like that knew I wanted to do it again. And I pulled over, called Ryan, and I because I knew that Sean and he were going to shoot another movie, but I didn't know where they were at. And I said, I want to do it. I know we've been flirting about this for a while, but I want it not in a Tinder way, but just flirting. <laughs> and uh, and so, and he's there was a long pause, which I thought was an awkward way for him to say, I don't know how to say no to you. But uh, there was a long pause, and he said, You're not going to believe this, but we have a meeting with Feige in like a number of hours. And so. Uh, we rang, and it was actually after I hung up, I thought, I think I should call my agent to say that I've, I've just said I'm going to do a movie playing Wolverine again. And I've never been happier playing him. I've never had more fun. I just knew in my gut, Stephen, that I wanted to do this with with Ryan as Deadpool. I knew that when I saw Deadpool 1. I, I, was, I just announced that I was done, and I was watching the movie going, I think I blew it because I could see it. I could see how these two characters would work. And I knew Sean was attached. So it was, yeah, I just jumped in fully. And was it harder? Hell yeah, it was harder. <laughs> it was so much harder physically, but it was worth it. Absolute beast. But it really was remarkable that he had called, I mean, that in that moment where Sean and I were about to go into you know, another firing squad over at Marvel. And, you know, I just, I remember we were pitching halfway through the pitch, we just pivoted. So listen, oh, fuck it. Hugh called us today. And, uh, you know, and, and I was nervous because the first pitch I'd, I'd made years and years ago was with the Deadpool and Wolverine movie. So I thought, I just, I couldn't quite understand why this wasn't clicking. And, and, and it was almost as though Kevin had no recollection of that first pitch and was just like, wait, what? And I was like, yes, he just called and he wanted to. He said, well, let, let's, can we do that? And then we sort of um, winged it, uh, a pitch, which is always the best pitches for movies when you, you sort of act like you've been thinking about this thing for so long and you have it all mapped out, but like it comes out of your mouth kind of all mapped out. Um, that is what happened. And that was, the, that was that was the... That was that day. That was the why to make the movie. And then why Wolverine, I felt like, was a separate uh, thing. Because we had to steer as far away from and respect uh, Mangold's Logan, which I we feel is a masterpiece. And, um, and you know, in, but instead of, like, you know... Um, resisting that as much. We also leaned into it. Which they saw. I mean, you've yeah, seen I mean, those first. So you you see that yeah. we aren't ignoring Logan. We have a reverence for that film. Yeah. And we're also going to play with those expectations. And but, I don't want to spoil but, but, it. But it yeah. also allows, you know, and Hugh can probably speak to this more, but it allows Hugh to uh, give the world a version of uh, Wolverine that is different in, and, and, and exists in a sort of slightly different way. And, and I, I just personally got to a front row seat to see this guy who's my closest friend in the world do this a thing at a level that I, you just never get to experience. I mean, thank God I'm wearing a mask because I just look like a moron under it with my eyes just like, <gasps> you know, just in, in utter shock watching his just clarity in that, in that role and such clarity, especially given the fact that it was different than the Wolverine we'd seen before and it was really magical. Yeah. Um. Thanks, man. I'm, uh, listen, I'm so protective of this character. I've played for 24 years now. Uh, 20, it'll be 25 this year, I guess. That I have to have a lot of trust in who I work with, um, and particularly playing Wolverine. And these two and the other writers had such care and reverence for the character. Um, I, it felt as much as me. And so they, they gave me runway in this film. There's one monologue in there. I, don't, I can't tell you the details of it. I say more words in that monologue than I said in an entire movie once as Wolverine. <laughs> but there are sides of the character that I've been scratching at for 24 years and not been able to pull off, either because the story didn't fit it or I couldn't pull it off or the writing wasn't there, I'm not sure. But 
there is stuff in this movie where I was like, this is the thing I've been trying to get out. And I feel so excited about it. That's why I'm so excited, particularly for you in the front row. <laughs> <laughs> particularly for you, but uh, for Wolverine fans to see a side of him um, being played by me that we haven't seen before. Next question from this gentleman. Um, my name is Dustin, I'm from RTL um, social media team. The question is for you, Hugh, you began your journey um, 24 years ago as Wolverine and um, where there are many Still in high school. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Uh, fr uh, fresh from the stage in Australia. Um, I, uh, there are many people like me who grew up with you. You were the Wolverine of my childhood, all of my childhood and um, coming Back to that. I mean, you took the crown from Patrick Stewart as the longest running comic book actor ever. Hmm. And uh, coming back to that, Bob, where the fears and what does it mean for you to have people for which the movie means so much because you were their childhood icon as a comic book actor? Um, thank you, Danke. Uh, I, I mean that. It, it does mean a lot to me. I don't take it lightly. And there was a question earlier about pressure and whether there's a particular pressure on this movie in, in regards to Marvel or anything. I can promise you no one puts more pressure on anyone on this stage than us ourselves. And I can say for me, Wolverine has been um, obviously the foundation of my film career. It's been the greatest uh, privilege for me to play it. I never take it lightly. I give 150% every single time. And what has it been like? It's been a revelation. And I, maybe it's because of my age or where I'm at in my life, but having this opportunity and particularly doing it with people that mean so much to me, that I respect so much, and the audience that I respect so much, I am so happy. And I'm really, really proud of this movie, and I can't wait for you to see it. Wendy and Emma, it's so great to, to listen to the stories and see all of you sitting here together talking about you know, bringing this movie to life. Emma, what was it like for you to see this friendship and relationship between the three of them from the inside, and Wendy, for you, from the outside as a, as a <laughs> producer, what was it like? What was the atmosphere like? This is probably like a typical movie question, but this seems to be very special. I think, yeah, you kind of just said it. It's a typical movie question, but it was a very untypical movie experience because I think it's unusual that you really get a film where at the helm are three best friends and everything in the world of filmmaking comes top down. Like the people at the helm of the film really set the tone for the rest of for the whole shoot and every minute of that shoot and your experience on it. So this was just incredible because there are a bundle of, bundle of laughs and a bundle of joy. And it was great every day. And I've also never felt so included or cared for. Like, I get it's a huge world to be entering into. Um, and, you know, taking on a character for, when it's the first time this character has been played in the MCU and my first time on a set of this scope. I'd never done anything like this before. And from the moment I joined, and it's just been incredible. And these guys are just, yeah, I can't speak highly enough of them. They're amazing. Yeah. What about you, Wendy? Yeah, and I would say, as Emma said, the tone of the set is set from the top down. And these three guys are just such wonderful gentlemen. But as Hugh said, 150% <laughs> every day. Mm -hmm. It's truly inspirational. They inspire everyone to do their best work. And there's so much respect and care that they treat every member of the crew yeah. with. And a good idea can come from anywhere. And it's all about really including everyone into the process and making everyone feel like we're all in this together to make you know the best film that we can. Mm -hmm. Can't wait to see it. Two questions. Right there, and then the lady over here. Last, final two questions. Running out of time, oh, sorry. God. Feels so... <laughs> he has to... You can't set your rest up. We, we can go over. I mean, we're not like, what's going to happen? Is someone going to yell at us? Or? <laughs> no, no, it, it's your call. We'll try and give shorter answers so we can get to a few more questions. Okay, cool. Okay. Yeah, fine. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. Well, okay. Okay. Okay, we, okay, Sean, so I'm going to say we have time for 50 more questions now. Okay. <laughs> Somewhere between okay. two and 50. Okay, yes. good. Let's start with the first one, right there. Hello. 
My name is Jules. I'm from the uh, German YouTube channel Pete's Meat. And Running out actually, of time, Jules. Are the, what? Sorry? We're running out of time. Oh, okay, okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, other questions already been asked, but I was wondering, uh, was there ever a moment where you had to, like, hit? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. If it were, if it were English were my native right, language, then. probably would have gone better. No, no, no. Take your time. We're all talking. Thank you. Yeah. Um, I was wondering, like, actually, I wanted you, I wanted to ask you the same question of Wolverine, but it was already beautifully asked. So, um, but then um, for Sean, Sean and Ryan, did you ever have a moment where you thought to yourself, because in the movie you already make the joke of uh, Feige said cocaine is off limits, but were there any that, that was moments? Definitely off limits. Yeah, yeah, but were there any moments um, while writing the script, while producing the movie, um, where you try to go the extra mile to be extra? Uh, I don't know. Dis disturbing or try to sneak anything in that oh, okay. that didn't happen or yeah okay this that's a good question you know the 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 R rating um, I, I'm proud of the fact that we don't ex we're not exploiting it it's it genuinely is used to make the most authentic Wolverine and Deadpool film possible there's never really uh, a moment where you're like, let's just do this because it, it falls under this broad umbrella of a, a, of a rated R film. Um, you know, but there was a couple things that maybe, you know, I, we could have thought, uh, yeah, yeah, yes, yes. <laughs> Although I will is, say, yes. is, uh, yeah. is this not fair to say, yeah. the only thing that we were ever told from the beginning is, Kevin and Marvel said, but how about no cocaine? Yeah. <laughs> and literally the first joke we wrote on this movie is Wade telling the audience that Feige says no, no cocaine. No cocaine, yeah. And actually, so, I wrote that uh, sequence with Blind Al as a marketing bit, not uh, to be in the movie. And we were just there and we were just like, oh, cool, let's just put it in the movie. It's great. Yeah. Um, but Kevin yeah, didn't that, say that, anything about press conferences and cocaine. Nope. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's not we at all. Can go for that's hours. on limit. We'll go no, for hours. Um, and, and I think that's that's really you know you'd be shocked at how uh, um, uh, what a great what great partners Marvel yeah. and Disney were. That you know they 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 understood what what was going on. You know, I think there's only one line. It, there is one line in the movie that I was asked <laughs> to take out, and uh, it took now, me five weeks. And now I you're going to spend the yes. rest of the press tour being asked, "What was that yeah. line?" My body's ready. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I've trained for this moment my whole life. Let's keep it going, Steve. Next question, right there. Hi. Um, who? I'm Andrea, um, and doing this for Familie.de, and uh, it's a short question because women. Uh, efficient. Uh, I would like to know. <laughs> oh shit! It's not wrong. We well, are not wrong wow. at all. Not yeah. wrong at all. Wow. Um, I would like to know what's your favorite song in the movie because I would have sing it to you, Hugh, when we were in the elevator. Like a prayer. Oh. Hit me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is the greatest show. Come on, little uh, greatest. Show. One, one, one of the one of the many reasons. I, sorry, slight tangent. Uh, but we're on our time now. Um, slight oh, is my, one of the reasons I love Hugh so much is that one of my favorite memories in the entire world is coming home uh, to my apartment in New York City, and the, the 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 door opens and I hear the Greatest Showman playing. And my kids love the Greatest Showman. They watch the Greatest Showman. Um, and I walk around the corner and I see that my kids are actually singing and dancing and jumping on the couch. And then as I keep going, I realize that it's Hugh is in front of the, the, the TV, which is playing his movie. He's acting out all the parts for my kid, with my kids. They're all having this huge sing-along, and it was one of the most, one of the most beautiful things I think I've ever seen in my entire life. Um, Until the kids started calling me dad, and then it got yes, weird. Yes, that got a little weird. Um, Bet well. Betty, my four-year-old, will wake me up in the middle of the night, uh, and this is true too. Uh, and you know, there's like a shadow on the on the ceiling in, in our bedroom, and she'll dad, dad, dad. Wake up, wake up. <laughs> what, what? She goes, look. And there's these like three lines on the roof of the shadow. She goes, Wolverine scratches. <laughs> <laughs> he was here. <laughs> I mean, obsessed with this man. Uh, obsessed. And, and I was uh, there watching. Yes, he was. <laughs> yes, not creepy at all. To answer your question, though, uh, favorite we're song, back. Like a Prayer, was in, has been stuck in my head for six years, that exact sequence. Although, when I had originally conceived of it, it wasn't um, used in the exact same way that we're using it in this movie, but it was the exact shot, song. Uh, they that, haven't seen the shot yeah, yet. Yeah. In fact, you haven't oh. seen Like a Prayer in the movie, oh. so that's yeah. a small spoiler. Spoiler, but you saw it in the trailer, yeah. Yeah. and now I guess you know something. So we yeah. did ruin some surprise today. Congrats. I would, I, we would be assholes if we didn't put that in the movie. Like the song, that song, use it in marketing like that. Yeah. That's abuse. Yeah. That would be abuse. I'm not going to mess with Madonna. Were you looking for Hugh to sing here today? Is that, that what was happening? No, no she wanted okay. to sing to me. 
Oh, you want to yeah. sing it too, Hugh? Bye, 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 bye. Did you see how efficient she was yet? Yes. Us. We blah, 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 blah. Because men are inefficient. Yes, right. <laughs> <We> yes, <laughs> yes. Question right here from the gentleman. Yes. First row. There we okay, go. Okay, here it is. Made it. Turn around. Yeah. Show the yeah, room. Show yeah. Is it working? Hello? We Are you hear me? You're, Hello. I mean, you're four uh, feet away, um, I figure. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I'm not a fan. I am, not my disguise, Cyclops, oh, yeah. Scott Summers, See, I... of course. And I'm not a big fan of you, Wolverine. And of course, not of you, Wade Wilson, Deadpool. That's gracious. Um, oh. Of course, you screwed me again. I'm not in the movie, little spoiler. And um, the question is, uh, what did they need to say to you, Logan? that yellow and blue, of course, is the real costume. And um, to you, Sean Levy, uh, what was the hardest thing, the writer's strike or to work with these two imbecile mutants? <laughs> uh, it was I remember you now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're usually dressed like him. Right. You know who he is, yeah. Hello, Cyclops. Uh, hello. <laughs> hello, Scott. Uh, so it was their idea, the red and blue. It was like one of the first things that it was, I think. The yellow and blue. The, uh, what the yellow, red, red and blue. blue. Sorry. Red the yellow and blue uh, was. We found out now that Hugh's colorblind. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Spoilers <laughs> everywhere. Never made today. it in the Air Force. <laughs> and, and I was like, L let's try it. Uh, it had been floated before, it wasn't the first time. And there was a consensus for 24 years that it wasn't going to work. Uh, and I said, let's just try it. And the moment, it was weird, the moment I put it on, and the moment that, that uh, Ryan and I walked out on set, him and the Deadpool, me in the, in the yellow and blue, it was, it was the moment I saw a jaded film crew turn into fans and like be, it was, I just knew it was gonna work. In fact, now I can't even imagine not wearing. And in fact, if I could borrow those clothes, that'd be awesome <laughs> later. You can keep the, I'm not sure what's happening with the <laughs> I shoes. I what's happening the shoes, with the boots. Which looks something. <laughs> All right, but yeah. the yeah. effort is fantastic. Yeah, it really is, <laughs> it really is. But yeah, I can't imagine ever doing it any other way ever again. The guy that, that makes the suits is a guy named Russ Schenkel and he yep. really is just, he's just tireless. He's made the Deadpool, I think the Deadpool suit and the, certainly the Wolverine suit are the best suits in the entire and comic I book should, movie industry. We should also credit Marvel because there is a yep. whole department visual, called VizDev, uh, yeah. Visual Development, and they really, they think about and toil over every detail of suit designs. Obviously they've done it very successfully in many movies and they were a huge partner in this too. And I've got to mention uh, Kevin Feige, because Kevin was the assistant to Lauren Shilladonna on X-Men 1 in 1999. So, and we met then and we've known each other ever since, but I don't think anyone was happier than Kevin Feige to see me in yellow and blue after mm -hmm. 24 yep. years. So I can't imagine what it was like for him on that first movie. He was probably screaming inside, so yeah. yeah. <laughs> to round it all up, this is the final question, the best one of them all. No pressure, right here. Second question. Second question. Um, question to you and Ryan. Um, could you ever imagine to exchange the parts of Deadpool and Wolverine? Wouldn't it be funny? Well, oh. would it? I, I would boy, not be as funny. That yeah, I can tell I, you. Uh, boy, would but. I fuck that up <laughs> forever. You'd never be able to look at him the same. Um, um, yeah, that would be a mess. Uh, yeah, the, no, yeah, hard no. Yeah, there. I think it's a hard uh, no. Yeah. Yeah. I, <laughs> no. I mean, he's also, look, there's, you know, what is there, uh, 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 eight super, there's been eight Supermans and five Batmans and uh, three Johnny Storms and three spideys. two beasts, three Spideys. There's only been one Wolverine. And only mm -hmm. one Deadpool. Well, yeah. Let's I, not rush to judgment for all the facts are in. But that <laughs> was really the, the thrill. George, I, Scott. I, I know yeah. I speak for Emma and Wendy and all of us who made this movie. When you are watching two actors who were born to play these roles, who bring these icons to life every day, when you get to go to work and watch that, mm. that is a privilege of the highest order. And that was the experience making this movie. He, and Hugh is just, I, one of the things I've, I've never experienced on a movie before either is when, when we fight in the film uh, and he's coming at you uh, at Hugh Jackman's speed, um, there's no part of you that uh, understands that he's not going to punch your head right off your neck. I, honestly, it's the, one of the most frightening things I've ever seen because the rage in his eyes is unlike anything else. And again, wonderful that I'm wearing uh, uh, the mask because I can hide uh, a lot of that uh, under there. But it really is, uh, uh, it should actually be a ride 
at, like Disneyland <laughs> mm -hmm. is and now just it can you be. coming at you and as fast as you can, can with can. claws. Yeah, it's a very terrifying. Vielen herzlichen Dank für all die schönen Fragen. Thank you so much, Wendy, Hugh, Sean, Ryan and Emma. All the very best. The film started on 24 Juli. Have a great time in Berlin. Thank you so much.